The other week I went to a theme park with my family, so with my mum, my brother, his wife and his sons. And, um, well, we went on some rides, as you do. There was this Ghostbusters ride, it was a dark ride, so you know the ones where you sit in a carriage or a boat or something and you just go through this passage and there's either, either just some sceneries with puppets or whatever, or you have to do some stuff and there's action and guns and boom. Ghostbusters 1 was actually kind of disappointing and boring but I guess it was catered to kids so I guess I'm not a kid anymore but it uh, reminded me of my childhood and how I got kind of uh, traumatized in a theme park if you've watched my 50 facts video you know that I don't like those ghost rides or uh, ghost houses that you have to walk through or whatever and there's a reason for that <laughs> When I was a kid, we used to go to this one theme park that's now called Movie Park Germany. Back then it was called Warner Brothers Movie World. As you can tell, it was kind of made by Warner Brothers. So um, there were lots of WB films involved in the rides and whatever. And there was this one walkthrough ride thing of... I have no idea how old I was. Uh, the ride closed in 2004, so I was definitely not older than 13. But actually, I think I must have been really young because I don't think I could read. Otherwise, the word gremlin invasion probably would have deterred me. So I was there with my family, we queued, uh, we went into this thing, it was cool, it was chill, I was just like, okay, what is this thing? Uh, I, I had no idea <laughs> what was coming. Uh, the only kind of dark rides I'd been on were those really chill boat rides, kind of like Pirates of the Caribbean style, where you just look at sceneries and some gun or cannon going off next to you and even that was kind of like oh my god there's a cannon oh this is exciting but that was it that that's that's the limit of all i'd ever experienced and then there was this thing so you know just picture me completely unprepared for anything and just generally having had no excitement in my life so far so I really, I, w I wasn't prepared. <laughs> and we were led into this cinema and it looked like a proper cinema. We had our seats, sat down, I was like, oh cool, we're gonna watch a film. And this is basically what my family was also kind of preparing me for. Yeah, we're just gonna, you know, we were just gonna sit down, have some fun. No. <laughs> well, the right was called Gremlin Invasion, so you might already know what's coming. You know, Gremlins, AKA these things. No, wait, that doesn't seem right. These things. So, you know, me, six-ish years old, maybe seven, maybe eight, maybe five, I have no idea. And this, this thing comes on screen. It was ALF, you know, that weird alien thing that was on um, as an American sitcom in the 80s, 90s, so probably around the time that this took place. I, I don't I don't think I'd seen him much on TV before, more like in passing maybe. I, I didn't really watch that much TV that young. So Alf was just like, oh well you know this theme park is part of a film studio. It actually is or was. I was like yeah we're gonna show you some behind the scenes stuff and we've got some outtakes for you of our show which is funny blah blah blah. Then it kind of started and then suddenly the film cut out and I was already just like uh, okay, what's happening? And then, you know, uh, Alf comes back on screen just like in a hurry, completely panicking. He's like, guys, guys, shit, um, I guess you have to leave because um, the gremlins have taken over the studio. Excuse me, what? So we had to leave the screening room. We kind of shuffled outside and I was just like, oh my God, what the fuck is going on? What are gremlins? What is happening? Why? What? Ah! And then um, in the next room, we were just put into carriages and, you know, driven around uh, dark ride style and there were just fremlins everywhere sitting in in the rooms backstage and it was like propped up like a proper film studio or like uh, behind the um, cinema screens so they had like they had the film projectors and they were tearing apart film rolls and burst water pipes and just generally gremlins wreaking their havoc and I just sat there going like what the fuck is going on? Why are they here? Why do we have to leave? I just wanted to watch outtakes. <laughs> 
so you know uh, in hindsight and uh, rationally I knew even back then that all of those things were constructed it was all planned and nothing would have happened to me and nothing happened to Alf and nothing happened to anyone but uh, no. Basically, ever since, I really did not enjoy any kind of rides that involve having to walk somewhere and having to just kind of uh, do more than sit down and watch stuff. Or, you know, roller coasters. I love roller coasters as long as they're, you know, looping and twirling and I don't like steep things that much, but... but Mm. And basically, since then, I have not touched anything that uh, that alien, you know, Alf was involved in, or I've still not watched any of the Kremlin's movies. I'm not sure if I need to, but... Mm. Uh, I mean, I'm over it now, apart from the fact that I really still don't like, you know, those, those rides or uh, ghost houses or whatever. And there was like a teensy tiny part of me that really didn't want to go on the Ghostbusters ride with my nephews, but I was like, well, my nephews are um, 10 and 8, and if they want to go, it's embarrassing if I chicken out, but I still felt a little bit not sure if I want to do this. And then it turned out to be boring, so you know. So yeah, I don't really know what the moral of the story is. Uh, don't take your kids on dark rides, even if they really want to. Explain things to them beforehand, maybe? Gremlins suck? I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I just, uh, I just felt like this would be a funny thing to share. Because I, you know, I got reminded of it the other day at the theme park, so... There you go, you can, you can share in my mild childhood trauma. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Do you have any stories of your shel shelves? <laughs> Do you have any stories of yourselves to share? Because <laughs> I feel kind of pathetic now. <laughs> go, go ahead, I'm, I'm curious. Or otherwise just laugh at me down in the comments. That That's cool too. So yeah, I'll, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> oh, I'll grab it. Oh.